Hey YouTube, Bennett here, tuning in live. Um, if this is your first time on my channel, uh, check it out, watch some videos. If you like it, bash the like button. If not, don't. Subscribe if you feel like it. It helps me out a lot. Until now, enjoy the video. We're going to be working with some acid, so be careful. Don't do this at home. That's why I'm doing this. It's for you guys. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be making some nitric acid, a highly corrosive acid known for its ability to corrode copper, unlike most other acids, synthesized with some sulfuric acid and potassium nitrate. I'll elaborate farther on the chemical reaction later in the video. Let's see what happens. In this reaction, we're going to use distillation to separate the nitric acid out from the byproducts, which are water and potassium uh, sulfate. So you'll need a heat source. I'm using a little propane torch in this video, and you will need a way to collect it after it's condensed. I'm using a beer bottle frozen in a two liter to condense the nitric acid out of the air. 100% chance of success. 0% chance of failure, guys. Let's go. I used aluminum to couple the reaction chamber to the distillation device, and uh, don't use aluminum. Don't do it. It's not. It's not a good idea because between the sulfuric acid and the nitric acid, aluminum metal it had a time, but it worked. Kind of. Oh, you'll see. Now, I was aware this could have happened. Luckily, I came prepared. I have a respirator, so don't freak out. It's all right, everyone in my family. Out there. Like, oh no, he's going to die. No, I'm fine. Most of the gases being released by this right now are nitrogen dioxide, uh, nitrogen. Uh, oxide, um, nitrogen products, probably some nitric acid, even in vapor form. It's not that bad stuff. Just Hypothetically, the container on the left should have a very small amount of nitric acid distilled out, so rather concentrate. And the container on the right should have a mixture of sulfuric acid, uh, potassium sulfate, and water, and potassium nitrate, and nitric acid, and nitrogen dioxide, and nitrous oxide. Basically, a little bit of everything. Here you can tell where the acid ripped through the aluminum and corroded the steel uh, on the seal. Uh, that was brand new before this, just to give you perspective of how corrosive the materials are that we're working with. Now I'm about to pour the nitric acid. Let's see how much I got.
looks like a few milliliters. That's what I was expecting. I didn't put in very much uh, reactants because I was just running a test to see the feasibility of this process. So let's test it. And that is absolutely dissolving. Look at that. That's incredible. I am ecstatic. Watching this video months later, it still is very exciting. Um, so yeah, yeah, no, it worked. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Let's see what else I do with it. I think I play with it for a couple minutes before uh, disregarding it. So.